And here's my last record, and one of my pets. That lovely, muddle-headed old rascal, Rob Wilton. As usual, of course, having terrible trouble with his chin. He never seems to be quite happy about his shaving. Anyway, here he is as governor of a very strange prison. I've been a prison governor now for, let me see, oh, longer than that. Of course, it takes years of hard work to become governor of a prison. I started as an ordinary convict and worked my way up. Of course, there's, uh, there's, a, there's, a lot, there's a lot to be done. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't fiddle about. Of course, uh, convicts are very funny people to deal with. Though I, I can't grumble, I've, I've got as nice a lot of convicts as one could wish to meet in a day's m Well, I've got one fellow been with me now for, oh, 15 years. Of course, he should have gone 10 years ago, but I didn't like to mention it to him, and you can't very well ask them to go, can you? I mean, besides, the poor fellow very likely got nowhere to go to. Oh, they're not a, they're not a bad lot. Taken, uh, taken on the whole. We've, uh, we've got two murderers, three manslaughterers, and a fellow for buying cigarettes after eight o'clock. Of course, he's in charge of three warders. And then we've got some desperate criminals. Well, when I say, I mean, we've got, we've got two jazz band conductors and three saxophone players. And the rest, well, the rest are just the ordinary, uh, burglar, highwayman, and so on, you know, the type of criminal that never gets out of the rut. Of course, two or three of them have escaped, but they always come back again. One fellow's escaped twice. If he does it again, he's not coming back. We can always fill his place. He's only a burglar anyhow. I mean, he, he stuts about the place. You'd think he was a murderer, the side he puts on. We can soon fill, we don't want to bother with him. Besides, it's, it's not nice having a burglar about in a place like this. I mean, if, if any of the convicts missed anything, I'd be the first to get the blame. There's a lot, there's a lot of tittle-tattle goes on in a place like this. I mean, the warders and the convicts don't seem to get on at all well together. Well, I, I, we had four card sharpers doing time, so it struck me, I thought it would be a nice idea, like, to arrange a few whist drives for the winter evenings. Well, of course, that started the warders subbing. So we started a loan club. Well, that got things mixed up altogether, and the warders who were with me then as warders are with me now as convicts. Of course, I, 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 I try to treat them all alike. I mean, I, I don't believe in making fish of one and place of another or anything of that sort. Of course, next, next week's a busy week for us. Next race week. Oh, what a week. That's the busiest week in all the year. We, we shan't have a cell vacant for love no money next week. Even the billiard room and the bar will be crowded out. We, we really could do with a far bigger place, all it? The business we turn away. A great big thick set fellow of a convict came up to me the other day and he said, I. He said, are you the governor? I said, yes. He said, well, I want to see you. I said, what about? He said, what about? He said, I can't eat the blinking food. I can't sleep in the thing they call a bed. He said, it's the draftiest hole I was ever in in all my life. The warders are a set of idiots. And the whole place, taken all together, is nothing else but a ramshackle death trap. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, have you got any complaints? Of course, if he'd started to get rough, I mean, I know how to deal with... I'd only got to send two warders out to try and find a policeman and would have soon settled him. But I asked him, I said, how long have you been in? And how long are you here for? He said, for life. I said, for life, what for? He said, for killing the governor of the last prison I was in. Well, I hadn't got any time to stand arguing with him, so I simply went straight away and wrote out his notice. 
I just felt that I couldn't live with him any longer. Well, that's that, and very nice too. Now, I'm going to escape like all the other prisoners. I've got, I've got a date for the record, so good luck, everybody, and goodbye now. Thank <laughs> you.